Hello YouTubers, Diecast Collectors. It's Jared White, the J-Man 63. It is Tuesday, September 8th, 2015. And it is time for the 350 subscriber high definition special. Because now my new Canon PowerShot SX400IS is ready to go. And I tell you what, went on two vacations. It's been kind of hard for me to get a haul video out last two months. Um, if you have um, kind of left the channel, sorry about that. If you're waiting on videos and you just don't want to subscribe because of that, but I can't help you there. That's just people, so oh well, that's on them. But anyway, um, this is going to be a two-part video. Um, each part is probably going to take me about 30 minutes to do. Um, so I'm going to try and hurry up as much as I can on this. I'm not going to try and rush it, but I am going to try and hurry because, as you can see, there is a lot of stuff to be shown here. I even had to expand the leaves on my table. So, yeah, this is going to be a big, 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 dump, dump, dump haul. Anyway, all right, so the first piece I'm going to get on to here is the Tesla Model S. I do like this car. Um, very excellent casting. Even though these are older case codes, most of you probably already seen these, but oh well, I'm just showing them on my channel. But they did some excellent work. Nice red wheels, blacked out PR5s, silver paint with the side view mirrors, nice front end detail nice in the back. I wanted to get the Matchbox version of this but the Hot Wheels version is pretty nice. There's the base, very flat flat base because there's really no running gear underneath it because it's electric. Very excellent work. There's the back if you want to read it. 2012 in Fremont, California. Very cool. Man 691 horsepower that's amazing 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds zero gasoline wow so whether people like electric cars or not they're here to stay um, and I think Tesla is awesome very cool car I wish they do the Roadster but they did an excellent job on this one gotta say alright next car up is another efficient car well, I don't know if it's efficient or not because it's a drag racing car, but it's the Supervolt. This thing is awesome. I wanted to get this in red when it first came out, but oh well. I still like this uh, piece. Very, very excellent. Nice uh, work on the motor there. Nice little Chevy logo. Very cool. Um, very good work. Uh, definitely the same paint scheme as the red one almost. Identical except the silver just got changed nice parachute in the back I really love drag racing cars this is pretty sweet but there's some information on the back there you can read that so this this definitely is one of my favorite fantasy castings there's two more I'm gonna show but this is definitely one of my favorite like almost fantasy castings very very cool so there's that one next up is the matchbox uh, Ford Mustang 93 Ford Mustang LX SSP almost reminds me of a California Highway Patrol car I would have liked to have gotten the green light version but otherwise this isn't too too bad um, very very excellent work Nice job on the light bar up there. Nice tan and grayish interior, I believe. Nothing on the rear, uh, but the front end has the clear headlights as part of the windshield. So, like I said, until I can get the green light version, this will have to do. Very cool. All right, the next cars up here are two more fantasy castings. Again, uh, like I said these are my other two favorites besides the Super Volt. This one's the D-Muscle. I love this uh, muscle car, like pony car look. Definitely one of um, 
the ones I had to pick up. I love it. Crower cams. So this is in the performance series because this is actually a maker of uh, camshafts. Very cool. Excellent job on the front there with all the scoops and everything. They even have the black plastic piece behind them. Very excellent job. Love it, love it, love it. Tons of hood scoops. Amazing casting. Almost looks like an exotic slash muscle car slash Mustang. All kinds of different makes of cars there. Nice side view mirrors too. Very cool. The next one up here. Um, oh, and I'll put it, I'll show the back real quick. If you want to read that information right there. So there you go. Anyway, all right. Next up here is the Great Gadspeed. Very excellent car. I love love this red and black. Uh, like I said, in terms of fantasy castings, uh, those three are my favorite: the Great Gadspeed and D Muscle, Super Volt, the Super Volt. So very excellent job by Hot Wheels. Looks like a high boy. And a 30s gangster era car and a, all this and that mixed together. Very cool piece. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So excellent work by Hot Wheels. Very cool. Even got the little chrome dashboard right there. Very well done. And the side pipes right there off to one side. Alright, so the next casting up I'm going to show is this one. It's a Chevy Silverado. There's kind of going to be a truck theme in this haul, um, along with a bunch of Mazda RX-7s. Um, well, three of them at least. I don't know if you saw in the, when I panned out, but the Chevy Silverado, definitely an awesome truck. Nice wheels here with the black Brembo. Uh, I can't read that right there. Chevrolet. No tampos in the front or the back, but still looks pretty beast with that blacked out grill. Excellent job. This is actually out of the then and now series. I didn't find the old one, or the then. This is the now, but I couldn't find the old one. I don't even know what it is. Very cool though. Alright, next car up here is the Acura NSX. And there's another NSX I'm going to show in this video. So there's kind of an import tuner theme, kind of a muscle machines theme, a little bit of everything here and there. So, you know, I focus on variety. Excellent casting. I love the rear end with the gray exhaust pipes and the rear taillights. Blacked out spoiler with the smoke tinted windows. And the nice front end here, except I wish they had done the grill. They could have done some grill work on here. Would have been nice to see. But anyway, excellent casting. Very well done. Nice to see this over the really riced up um, Honda they used to have. The old Honda NSX. They used to have one that was like a racing edition, I believe. But this one's pretty cool. Alright, so next two cars up here. This one is the uh, Aston Martin Vantage GT3. I don't like what they do with these um, GT cars, how they make the front end swept up right here and how they do the rear end. I know that's for track use, but I'm not a big fan of how they do that. Um, just based on the fact that um, uh, GT cars have that low arrow kit and they don't have it swept up, otherwise the car would flip over, but um, I just... They, they didn't do that with the realistics like the Ferrari 575 GTC and all those cars, the older ones that they came out with. So I don't know why they do it now. I guess it's just for the kids, but I don't know. I guess they're getting more track oriented. I, I don't like it, but oh well. And that spoiler is way too big. But nice work on the rear end here and the front right here. Excellent work. I mean, for tampo wise, it's pretty good, but rest of the stuff I could do without. Alright, next car up here is probably one of my favorite real cars. Um, 
This is more of a luxury high-end sedan like the uh, BMW 6 Series, I would say. This is like their competitor to the BMWs. Um, the Cadillac Elmira J, or not Elmira J, El Mirage. I said Elmira J, I meant El Mirage. But, um, very nice car. Um, nice tan interior right there. And they even did the front badging. So some excellent work done there. Um, very, very cool. And the gray base. Sweet, sweet car. Um, but there's some information on the back here. This was born in 2013, but there's a new model for 2015. That's kind of weird. So there you go. Alright, so next up, I have some flea market finds. And most I went to the flea market twice the last couple of months. Um, at, not including the time I went on my vacation to another flea market. But... In any case, um, I will start showing you guys some flea market finds that I got uh, this month. Um, first up here is the Jesse James Cherry CFL. Um, I do have this in the big one tenth scale with the working belt drives and everything. Um, I would like to get more of these, like the penny saved. I'd like to get that in this scale and maybe in the big scale. I definitely want to get the big scale penny saved. But these are harder to find, I think, than most of your average um, muscle machine stuff. I mean, a lot of these have been kind of hard to get at different places. But anyway, excellent casting. Um, 131 scale. So it's not exactly 164 scale, but this thing is very cool. Awesome, awesome bike. There's the back right there. Nothing really on the back, but very, very cool awesome piece all right next up here is a uh, Johnny Lightning Ford Thunderbird I love Johnny Lightnings you guys know that I always pick them up when I go to a flea market or anywhere else um, I don't know what I think this is a 62 Thunderbird I believe legendary bad birds 50s and 60s that's what it says right there Packaging is not exactly in excellent condition, but it's not bad. But I love that tan color. And you can see the work in the front, down the side here with the vents and everything else. Very awesome work. I'm probably going to make this a two-part uh, video. I don't know if I said that before, but um, it's going to be, um, it's going to take a while to show everything. Uh, anyway, nice little sun visors there. Very good work. So, love Johnny Lightnings. This one's out of the uh, Playing Mantis era of Johnny Lightning. And you can see all the ones you can collect right there. So, very cool. Next up here is another Johnny. This one is uh, Dan Fink's Speedwagon. It's a purple woody. So that's pretty sweet. Nice wheels. Pretty good job by uh, Johnny Lightning. They definitely paved the way for green light and uh, M2 machines and Auto World. So definitely uh, excellent. And Johnny Lightning is also, you know, the same people that formed Auto World, kinda. So very cool. Definitely left a mark on diecast as we know it. But there you go. I would like to collect a lot more of these, like the Fine Pewter and the 007 series. Um, Hollywood. Showstoppers I don't have any of. So, Racing Dreams I got. Truck in America I have some of those. So, definitely would like to get more America's Finest. I've never heard of that. Magmas are sweet. Would love to have some magmas. And some of the stock car and funny car stuff. U.S. Postal Service, I've seen that on Race Grooves' channel. So there's some excellent stuff that they made back here. Excellent, excellent castings by Johnny. Anyway, next up here is another Johnny Lightning. Uh, this is the Dracula um, Universal Monsters. Uh, this is number one, so I believe this is the Aerovet as set up here. Um, 
This one's very cool. Um, I like this piece. It's well done. Nice red tinted windows. Definitely goes with the black because, of course, it is Dracula. I want to suck out blood. But very, very cool. I'm not sure if it's rubber tires or not. It says here it's got a monster shroud car cover. So that's a pretty excellent little feature on this. So very, very cool with the tan interior. It says Dracula up there. Very excellent car. And you can collect more of these. I would definitely like to get more. They don't even show you who the monster is, but you can kind of get an idea of what they had. Very excellent. RC2 era. Doesn't matter whether it's RC2 or Ertl. I love Johnny Lightning the same, especially the older ones. Awesome, awesome pieces. Next up here is a Muscle Machines Japan GT Championship. I definitely love these cars. Um, would love to collect more of them in 164th and 124th scale. They just did an excellent job on these pieces. Nice tampo work on these and definitely shows how excellent of a company that Muscle Machines could uh, be. Nice side view mirrors right there. I don't know if those are plastic or what, but definitely a very thin little piece of plastic if that's plastic. Um, doors even open I think because you can see the seam right there on the doors and this is the Esso Ultra Flow Supra JZ A80 uh, 2 JZ Supra I guess this is a bigger engine and I definitely like these these definitely strike a chord with me because I grew up playing Forza Motorsport and I'm sure for a lot of Gran Turismo fans this is definitely one of the series to collect if you're a fan of those racing franchises but very very cool piece so yeah nice detail on the underside there's really flat like most of the GT cars are tailpipes right there very cool piece alright next up I have some more cars to show you guys this time some more Johnny's and I'll be showing more muscle machines in a minute here this one is the Surf Rods. Again, excellent work. Amazing job. Nice front grill there. This is definitely one of my favorites I've gotten or series I've collected. I love the Surf Rods. Very awesome pieces. You can see all the logos right, th right there. Sorry, I got the hiccups. Zulus. Very sweet. Nice surfboards right there with all the details and everything. Very, very cool. Excellent work. Nice underside right there. Nice little card. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Showed you all the shows you the surfing locations where people like to surf at. That's pretty sweet. Pretty awesome pieces. I'd love to collect more of these. I'd don't feel like I have enough of these and so definitely want to get some I don't know what model of cars these even are but this shows you all of them next up here is another Johnny a Volkswagen uh, Carmen Ghia definitely one of my favorite um, uh, cars that Volkswagen did back in the day because uh, Ghia was a co coach builder and it was kind of an Italian uh, Volkswagen sort of I love this car wheels don't exactly match the uh, card but otherwise it's not bad um, I love the way they did the front the side here the nice little door handle back there's the base excellent detail work on the base nothing's painted but it's all really pretty much there so very very excellent job on this car as usual Johnny Lightning I think this is the playing mantis era like the surf rods is so that's two more Johnny's I got at the flea market I think um, my flea market scores I got them for around between thirty three and thirty five dollars so about two or three dollars a car is what I think I paid for some of them alright so anyway next couple of castings here 
and two dollars a car is really nothing when it has all the detail on it or three dollars even so always score good at the flea market that's definitely something to keep in mind when you go hunting is don't just look at the mass retail 68 Dodge Hemi Dart very very nice piece uh, these are actually I think they're hand painted as Don told me because um, he had one and I bought it from him there was another one there it was the bone shaker I think it was a Willie's panel van or something but the package was almost uh, destroyed so I decided not to get it but nice nice uh, injector stacks right there very very nice piece red light bandit 426 hemi awesome 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 sweet piece so I got the detailing underneath there they even got the ladder bars and everything the little side pipes right there man oh man oh man a lot of detail I don't normally care for muscle machines even the older ones but because they don't have any interiors but um I like the gasser kind of look that they put out so, so they did some pretty cool stuff certain certain times some of their stuff was pretty neat and I, I like a lot of their um, castings the old ones at least I, I prefer the older ones over the newer Maisto ones but they definitely lasted longer than Maisto did but that's that one next one here is a 67 Nova Nova Kane right there as you can see Wow all kinds of little logo detail and I think these were actually hand painted like Don said but man oh man oh man that's pretty awesome definitely don't do it like they used to excellent detail but in terms of the ones with the big blowers these are like the only muscle machines I really care for the gasser and the raked kind of stance cars these are the only ones I really care for because they have a little more detail on them anyway next two up is the trucking series and this is the first time I've actually found some of these in the wild and first time I've actually been able to feature these on my channel I've known about these but I have not found them yet so this is the first I've found of these uh, this one they feature slam which is really cool because you could actually pop the chassis up and down and it would raise and lower kind of like uh, hydraulics on a car so that was pretty sweet and I don't know if the tonneau cover was removable or not I think it was and uh, I don't know if the hood opens or not uh, correct me if I'm wrong I'm not sure but excellent detail work on these with the the stripes and the blue and the silver nice red interior orange orangish red with all the detailing look at all that very very nice nice wheels too kind of a deep dish kind of look on there with a tribal nice truck um, there's the back and that showed the series that you could collect it had the this uh, showed you how the slam worked on here very very cool I would like to get more of these and uh, if you notice on the grills unlike um, Hot Wheels it actually they actually change up the uh, grill and lights and everything so even muscle machines kinda knew that with their castings back in the day um, just like uh, Johnny Lightning they definitely paved the way for uh, green light and M2 and auto world so definitely a little history there so you can see the front grill on this one and you compare it to this one right here they're definitely different because this one's a Chevy and this one's a Chevy almost the same truck but they definitely changed up the casting so they definitely do better work than Hot Wheels ever did with some of their street trucks very cool nice baby blue with the white flames this is definitely I think this is an older Chevy I'm not sure 
but this is very cool. Nice tan interior. Got the magazine there with a the truck. And you got some girls in the background. What more do you need? Very awesome piece. All right, so now the next couple of castings I'm gonna show you are some muscle machines. I'm running kind of uh, high on time here, so I may not get to all of them, but I'll definitely see you in the next part here if I can get through all these, let's see. First up here is the 01 Acura NSX. Excellent casting. Nice sponsor logos, nice wheels. Lamar Fashion showed these on his channel and I was kind of hoping I'd find some and lo and behold at the flea market I found these for two dollars a piece to tool guys nice detail right there nice spoiler very very awesome a uh, lot more detail in the Hot Wheels and SX for sure and a lot ricier very very awesome alright next car and just look at the underside detailing alright so next car up here is the 01 IS 300 Lexus there's kind of a black theme amongst all these um, tuner cars if you'll notice 01 IS 300 the Corolla also known as the Corolla very cool casting nice detailed motor interior details are awesome very excellent piece, nice tail lights. Not unlike green light and M2 what on details and stuff. Very excellent work. Now, again the underside super super detailed. Alright, so the next casting up here. I think I'm gonna make this the last one. I don't know. The Dotson uh, 510 Bluebird. Excellent work. Very, very nice. So there we go. Awesome, awesome piece. Next up here is the Toyota MR2. Uh, this was another excellent one that I found at the Tool Guys. Um, very very nice piece the rear end kind of opens can't really see much of anything in there but all the little logos and everything is very well done nice underside too it's not really picking it up too well but it's doing a decent enough job so very cool the last one up here I'm gonna show and I'm gonna move on and make part number two after this one is the Mazda RX-7 more excellent detail work by Muscle Machines with the rotary motor there and the taillights. Big, huge wing. Again, excellent detailing. So, very sweet piece. Alright, guys. Well, that's part one. And next up, I will see you in part two. Make sure you check uh, the next one out. Have a good one, guys. Bye.